Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna cut open this CF Moto U Force 1000 XL stock muffler, and we're gonna see what we can do to make it sound a little bit better, maybe rumble a little bit. I did pull this off off video because it's really, actually, really easy. Two minutes, pull this right off. Now, I did pull this off off video. One thing I found interesting was this stuff all wrapped around here clogging this up so i'm gonna say that that's not good this stuff is is fiberglass for sure but it's in bad shape and this unit only has 77 miles on it so that's gonna come off of there we're gonna custom make our own tip make this one a little bigger cut this hole out whatever we got to do make it a little bigger put a nicer tip on there but we're gonna cut this open. Without further ado, let's get started. I already marked it with markers. That way I know how it's gotta go back together. I think we only have to gut this side. I don't think we have to do anything to this side, but we're gonna find out. So let's see how easy this cuts. All right, guys, so we went ahead and got it apart. Show you guys the inside. So that's what it is. Looks like there's two baffles. One that comes in, comes back out, and then goes back down in. I think our goal is gonna be to pull this plate out of here. We're gonna try and leave one baffle in, but we're gonna pull the plate out. Look, like there's three weld marks. Let's see if I got my chisel. I got a chisel. I got my chisel and my hammer. We're gonna bust those weld marks. They're just tack welds is all they are. Nothing huge. Them two broke easy, that one. Not bad. Now, we're gonna take our Sawzall, come in here, like so, cut this out. All right, guys, it was a chore, but we did it nonetheless. We got this uh, muffkin here gutted and we pulled out this one pipe. What I had to do is I had to cut here, two cuts, got it out, we'll have to weld that back up, not a big deal and then we'll full send it back on there. Um, but what we gotta do, is I wanna straighten this back out so it flows better. There we go, we got that straightened back out. So now what we wanna do is we wanna weld this pipe here so it goes down inside because we do still want this to be somewhat chambered so it's not super loud. And the reason I'm using this big pipe is for echo, like uh, for sound. So if it does what I think it's gonna do, it's gonna sound pretty good. Without further ado, let's, uh, and this ain't gotta be fully welded, just gotta be tacked in some places. So let's get to uh, doing that, shall we? All right, guys, so for the time being, I had decided to keep this tip and this screen. Simple reason is we're wanting to go to Hatfield McCord Trails. And yes, I know, everybody runs custom exhaust. So am I. But if I get checked, there you go. That's what we're doing. So now, Later on, if we decide we want it to be just a little louder, 
we'll we'll uh, do a custom tip. If you want to see me do a custom tip, I already have some videos on doing custom tips that turned out really nice. I don't have any more of that what we used, but if I did, we would do those because those also you can put a screen in them. So, so without further ado, I'll meet you over at the machine. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put this back in. Turn that right back in there. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Can't even tell I had it off of there. Yeehaw. All right, guys, so I don't mean to disappoint you, but we're not going to be able to hear it in this video. We're going to hear it in the next video when we take it for a ride for the Elka shocks. So stay tuned for that. And the reason why you can't hear it in this video is because the ECU is out being tuned. So I thought that I would have it back by now, but I didn't. So it should be back in a few days. As soon as we get that back, we'll be able to hear it and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, peace out and God bless. We'll see you in the next one.